guys, well, welcome to uh, Kent's Cam and Stone Age Fair. Glad you could all come. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little story about our mascot. He's coming around doing a meet and greet now. His name is Pavel the Caveman. And uh, we hope you are going to enjoy this. Right, everybody on deck. Enough of the fraternising, you've got work to do. Come on. <laughs> Anyway, okay, you ready? You ready, guys? Yeah. Right. Well, Cavog the Caveman was an incredibly brave man, and he lived around here. Did you know? Right here in Torquay, way before you and me, 30,000 or so years ago. Oh, as strong as a bear. He was a right messy eater. Long, greasy hair. He had the worst table manners. He'd belch after eating. Yeah. But the loudest and longest, nobody could be. Airy and rude, young Cavog could be, but nobody around was as astounding as he. Brilliant he was. Sharp as a tack. He invented the spear. And didn't come back. And with this marvellous find, all the folk of the tribe made Cavog their leader. He must have been blind. But he accepted the position as strange as it was. He made a mighty fine leader. There were problems, of course, by the five tons of muscle and sinew and bone that's coming, beat drumming to Cavill's new home, flattening, sparring, kicking up dust, the monstrous mammoth called Angry One Tusk. Now, Angry One Tusk was a mammoth supreme, and the one tusk he had, phenomenally keen. Sharp as a razor, harder than stone. A battering, bruising, protrusion of bone, well, ivory, really. Like your teeth, very nearly. Just bigger, much bigger. Which is big, pretty clearly. Angry one touched, he hated cave dwellers. Perhaps he felt threatened. Perhaps he was jealous. But whatever the reason, one rainy season, angry one trust came knocking, knocking the tree. Bellowing loudly, trunk in the air. Everybody that saw him was terribly scared. Apart from young Cavill, who wasn't afraid. Do you recall at the start? I said he was brave. But angry one touched. Came on in a rush. All that stood foot tall before him was charged down and crushed. The Cavog himself would have been mashed to a mush. If he not run away quickly and jumped in the bush. Cavog just waited as one tusk drew near. When the mammoth was inside the range of his spear, he flung it with practically all of his strength. And it buried itself in the beast, half its length. But the beast wasn't phased by this sneaky, sneaky attack. And with eyes blue and grazed, it knocked Cavog flat. With a thunk of its trunk, Cavill went reeling. And it plucked the spear from his body and thumped away bleeding. Cavill was beaten and needed to plan. This beast could defeat him and kill all his clan. So he went to the cave to see the old shaman. For he knew that this man had ways to save him. Because the elder of the tribe knew magic, they said. And with roots and red berries, he dyed the spear's head. It was sticky. And it is, and deadly to us. Cavill returned, the beast caught to slay. Spear in his hand near the end of the day. He crept round the creature, hidden by dusk, and soon was behind Mr. Angry One Tusk. Cavill raised his poisoned spear, his heartbeat pounding in his ears. He threw the spear with all his might. Straight and true, that weapon's flight, it flew towards the beast and got him. It struck One Tusk. In the bottom! Ah! And with a bellow born from pain, ah! Angry One Tusk went insane ah! and fled this place. Both saw his monster who had slaughtered legions fled this place. Both saw and bleeding spears stuck in his nether regions. Cavill was the winner. Yay. But Tusk was trapped by Cavill's tribe, trapped to where the mammoth died. Not and lightly fried and served them up for dinner. <laughs> so now it's time to bid adieu to Cavog and his caveman crew. And whilst they eat all their mammoth stew, you can all go home. But remember, before you go away, remember what you heard today, long ago, here in Torbay, the bravest caveman. Yeah. All right. Enjoy that, guys. Who's anybody saying?
sad that angry ones have died? No? No? I'm oh, sorry, one task. No one called for you. You sure you don't want to give one task a round of applause anyway? Yeah. Then I can't then. <laughs>